Hi everyone. I'm not feeling 100% today. I had a rough night with my hips. But I have something special to share that I'm going to do and bring you with me. One of my aunts has been giving me a gift card for one of the restaurants in town with the idea that it helps me get out. So if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll saw that I had a picnic a few weeks ago. I really liked it, so I'm doing the same today. I went up to the restaurant last night and got a chicken wrap and cold slaw. So I've got that loaded on my wheelchair, just set in my refrigerator overnight. Um, so I'm going to head down to the water's edge and just put, just put the camera there. Um, while I'm eating. I'm honestly not too talkative today. As I say, I'm not feeling 100%. I need to have a rest. Um, but since it's time for my meal, I did want to go do this because I've been looking forward to it since last night. So I thought that those who like these types of videos, some nature, scenery, and perhaps some of seeing my more human side, if I could say it like that, I wanted to invite you to come with me. Um, so let me just get the, the door and get going. I'm not sure if the camera's in focus yet or not. I'll check in just a second. I just need to lock my house. That's, that's the apartment building from across the, the street where I live. fall day. Um, the weather's about oh, 57 Fahrenheit right now. Let me just check the screen to see if I've got it in focus. Oh yeah, it's off a little bit. I had it focused on my face, my face when I was in the house. As soon as I got outside, it there was too much wind and you know background noise that i can't use the commentary recorded with the camera so i'm doing this the following day where i'm heading to is the bay of quinty i hope you'll enjoy this with me i did have a really really lovely time if you're new to watching my videos, I travel on the side of the road because the bumps from my power wheelchair are too hard on my legs and creates a lot of pain for me. So it's a strategy that works well overall. When a section of road has decayed, like here in Canada, the winters caused cause frost and the road heaves and cause cracks in the surface I typically just slow down to go over a specific area you know another well, another two weeks from now it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and I'm starting to look forward to the change in the tree leaf colors it's another time of year that I really enjoy you know, any day that I get out of the house, I'm usually really glad that I did so, even if it means a quieter day the following day. I've been systematically paying attention to what activities I do and the effect it has on my legs so that I'm able to do the most each day. It's sort of a long-term strategy. It's starting to pay off, though. Where I'm coming up to is Highway 2. It's locally known as Dundas Street if anyone lives in this immediate area. What I'm planning on doing is crossing over it and then going down by the water's edge 
and what I decided to do in this particular video was eat my meal while changing position every few minutes for the people watching the video just to try to keep it interesting you know before I had the picnic in you know about eight weeks ago and the one that I had yesterday it had been several years since I had one I've really enjoyed this and it's something I want to make a point of doing on a semi-regular semi basis you know it's not that hard to put a meal together and travel 10-15 minutes with my power wheelchair and find a spot to eat that's beautiful I really am glad that I did this. What I'm coming up to next, and I, what I showed on the camera, is the flower beds that the city maintains. They're always gorgeous to see them, and I did want to point them out in this video, especially if you've not been able to get out and see some of them. And I don't know if you caught it, but there's hanging flower beds that are the same type of flowers that the city has set up. What I'm waiting on is the traffic light to, to cross the street. You'll see the ambulance that's on the street. It reminded me of an event that the city hosts once a year. It's the Open Doors Truck event it gives the children in the community the opportunity to see you know fire trucks ambulance police the zamboni that uh, takes care of the ice and the various different equipment that the city has to come get on it get pictures taken and ask questions one of my neighbors told me about it and how much her nine-year-old loved it I also wanted to point out this brickwork. I love the inlay there and just how pretty it is. Stuff like that really appeals to me. I mean, not for everybody, but it's something that grabs my attention. So where I'm heading down is, is one of the pedestrian paths into the park. And where I'm pointing to on the screen is the area that I'm going to have my picnic at. I had it picked out already before I left my house. Like I said, I was really looking forward to this. One of the ways that my uh, family has supported me is restaurant gift cards. The idea being that they can't fix the challenges that exist in my hips or knees but the next best thing is supporting life activities. So I've been receiving a restaurant gift card for my birthday and for Christmas. And this is what I use to buy the food that I'm eating today. As we go by it, I want to point out this memorial site. It's well maintained. I don't know much about the accident that caused this person to die um, but I did want to point that out in the video it's regularly kept up I go down here uh, to take nature photos and you'll periodically see the photo montage videos these really grabbed my attention how 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 attentive the family is or the loved ones of the person that died I also wanted to point out that pink arrow and in the background there's a yellow one right now the city has set up a map for outdoor activities and these these yellow arrows and pink ones are all over the city there's a lot of um, bikes um, bicyclists and there's a lot of people that walk in town. So I expect these are getting good usage with the different routes that have been set up. 
So I was just waiting for a car that was laying me across the street, but I was traveling on the side of the street to get to where I'm going. The road going the other direction goes to a hotel, and it has a business wing where businesses rent the various units. It was a cold enough day. It was about 55 Fahrenheit, and that, I don't know the exact number, but it's around 12 Celsius. I had, I had my uh, fall jacket on. When I got down there, I wished that I had put a long sleeve shirt or my sweater on. It was just slightly cold. The seasons are changing again, of course. Where I'm passing now on the left side, I've not showed it on video, um, but there's a dog park um, that the, the city maintains. And it's a large fenced off area where people can take their dog, take it off the leash and just let it run. And you know, it works out fairly well for, for that community group. Oh, and I wanted to point out this yellow turtle alert sign. There's different signs up. You know, there's another one saying about not mowing down the weeds to help the bee population. Like I said, it's a really pretty area. And when I saw that turtle sign, it made me smile. Where, where I am going, there's the water and will be about half a kilometer or roughly a, roughly a third of a mile from one of the marina's boat yard areas where um, people will dock, you know, and go between, you know, Belleville, Kingston, Ottawa to the east and travel towards Toronto by boat on the westward direction. It's its own subculture. It's absolutely phenomenal. You know, sort of seeing how the life of the city works and the people that live here or come here to play. So what I have for my meal is a chicken wrap. There's a quarter of a dill pickle and some cold slaw. And then I just packed uh, my bottle of water, my reusable bottle of water to come with me. As I was driving up to this area, there was uh, some speed boats out but you really can't see them um, in the video. They've, they've gone by. So like I said, I'm going to set the camera up here and start to eat my meal, and then I'm changing positions again just to keep it interesting in the video. What I'm doing at the moment is just pulling the legs out of the tripod, the camera tripod, um, to get it on the ground. I love the lily pads. It reminds me of when I was a child. We went to the Sunday school picnic and someone had a little pond probably four feet by two and a half feet and there were a few lily pads in there and then some toads had moved in and there were a whole bunch of tadpoles. It was really cute watching the, the tadpoles. 
you can see the marina off in the distance. I didn't bring my zoom lens with me. I thought a nice broad view would be, you know, picturesque. I watched a video yesterday where one of the f television companies in England, or sorry, in Norway, attached a whole bunch of cameras to a ship and filmed the 135 hour journey. And it was just amazing the number of people that tuned in. And when they started doing the research, they found out that people were wanting a break from reality TV and just to be watching something calming. And there was an audience apparently for just watching a ship traveling up a given path. You can see what I'm pointing to with the marina on the screen. I really do enjoy the, the calming nature of this area. If you've not had the time to do something like this, I really would encourage you to do so. You know, the paratransit vehicle that takes me to my medical appointments, you know, it has uh, rides where you can go see the change of seasons. You know, I've had friends take me out for a car ride. And then of course, getting over the host myself. If you want to do something like this, there's likely a way for it to happen if you get creative. And that's sort of what I was thinking about when I started talking about getting out just now. These really do me a lot of good. I often forget about the problems with my hips and my knees when I'm out down here some place I really enjoy going to. And actually you can see the water, the ripples on the water. It really did bring a cold wind towards me. And that's what wrecked the original audio for, for the picnic. So I'd finish eating the cold slaw, and then where I'm going now is one of the spots that people use to fish. If you saw my video a few weeks ago, I pointed out a whole bunch of food trucks. So this is across from the food trucks and then onto the pier. You can see the man here. It's also an area used for dog walking. That drinking water zone um, post there, where, where I'm at, is around the city's waterworks. And I expect this is one of the sites where they draw water from, treat it, and then put it into the city water. And they're warning about spills. see just how pretty it is. So this is where I picked to continue eating my meal.
there wasn't anything particularly special about it, but just the stillness of it was nice. We just passed the one year anniversary of my aunt dying from cancer. And I've been thinking about her different times. And it was a nice bit of a break coming down here. I've enjoyed, or I've missed talking to her and thought different times of how frequently we would just talk. Yell and catch up and, you know, spend time together. There is a little bit of a disappointing twist this took. You can see how the clouds are going dark. Literally, just after I finished eating my meal, it started raining. And I had to put the camera, I had to turn the camera off and put it in my jacket to protect it. It's not by any means watertight. The those clouds were ominous of the rainfall to come. I got a little bit wet on the way home. It could have been much worse, though. I've been absolutely soaked a few times. I normally check the weather before I go out, but it didn't occur to me to do so this time. While I was sitting here, I spotted some ducks and a few swans. And this is where I'm moving the camera to now for finishing off my meal. Let me just get over there. I don't have the zoom lens with me again. I have focused in on them at the best that I could, but they were just kind of hanging out in the water, all standing up. When I was going along, I was trying to avoid myself from being in people's way, although everyone down there didn't, didn't mind at all. And I spoke to the people as they were coming along to ask if it was okay. Yeah, I could see right here. And I'm just raising up the, the tripod uh, to get the best shot for you guys. Here we go. Sorry for the swaying motion. Oh, there is the one duck that was swimming over to the group. I had not caught that uh, when I was filming. Yeah, here we go. It's kind of like they were all having a siesta almost. They were just kind of there. So in this um, area, I finished my meal, and I was really glad that I came down here. Oh, the little kids are playing together. <laughs> I wonder if, oh, I think it's called a crash. I'd have to check though. I'm wondering if 
if the ducklings are raised and the parents take turns uh, watching the, the little ones while they go off to fish and you know basically bring home the food. So the camera actually gave me a better view of this uh, than, than when I was sitting in my wheelchair. I just didn't catch the amount of movement. There was too much of the weeds in the way. But boy, was it gorgeous watching it all. They're all kind of, they're all kind of pruning themselves. Reminds me of Rocky. It was really peaceful down there. And this was the perfect oating for me. Oh, there's that speedboat. I don't know if the video and the audio is going to completely line up, but you can see the boat at the top of the screen. I knew someone was out there playing around. So there's just about a minute left of this video. So I just want to quickly share that I'm gonna that I'm aiming to do a word game twice a week on my channel. I'm still gonna be posting other videos, but I thought the word game might be nice for those who aren't having as much social engagement. Once I've got it all sort of the kinks worked out of creating it. I'm wanting to be doing it live and I invite you to take part and then of course the video will remain online afterwards if you've not been able to watch it live. This has come from the time I spent with my aunt and how much both her and I enjoyed the word games and I thought this might help others who, well my aunt was going through cancer treatment at the time but I thought it might help others who, who can't get out as much or who are going through a rougher period of their own. So it's, what I'm doing is putting the date hyphen word match game. And I've created a word match uh, playlist where I'll be linking the videos if you want to go back and see old ones as they as they grow okay i hope everyone's doing well thank you again for joining me and you know this really was a lovely time getting out down here apart from the rain on the way home <laughs> okay take care thank you again for being with me on this one oding bye for now